Hello and welcome everyone to our new video where we are going to analyze how to create membership plans in your LMS. First of all, what are membership plans? A membership plan is a set of services that you can offer to your clients to be charged on a recurring basis, usually at a discounted rate. For example, these are the membership levels offered by Master Study. So let's create this kind of membership system on our website. The first thing that we need to do is to install and activate the plugin Paid Memberships Pro. It's a free plugin, so let's do it. Okay, this is an interface that we'll mainly work on. First of all, I need to generate membership page. To do this, go to settings, then page. You can create pages manually or let the plugin generate them for you. I prefer to use the first button. Now, you can see page successfully generated. Scroll down and remove the login and account page from the settings so the system will use the LMS login and account page instead. Next, I need to create membership levels such as silver level, gold level, platinum level, etc. To do it, jump to the levels tab. Here will be displayed all membership levels on our website. As you see, we have nothing there, so let's create our first level. From the open and pop-up window, you need to select membership level template. Paid Memberships Pro has level settings for almost any type of level you can imagine. Let's say I want to create monthly plan. In the general information section, give the name for your membership level which will be visible to the public. Writing the description of the level is optional and it will be displayed on the checkout page. Confirmation message is also optional and it will be on the checkout confirmation page. When it comes to billing details, here you need to indicate the price for your level. As we selected a monthly plan template, some default values are already here. Initial payment is the amount that will be collected at registration. It's kinda like an entrance fee. If you don't want to make this plan recurring, just turn this setting off. But in my case, I want a monthly plan. Billing amount is the amount to be billed one cycle after the initial payment. Set it according to your needs. There is an availability to set the billing cycle limit as well. After this cycle expires, you will lose the membership. Keep in mind, if you lose your membership, all of the courses that you have enrolled using this membership will also be lost. If you want, you can also set some trial periods for this plan as well. In the expiration settings section, you can indicate expression period for this level. As I said, once the member loses the access to the membership, he will also lose access to his courses. In the next section, there is an availability to hide the specific types of contents on your website from the non-member users. We will also learn how to hide elements from non-member users and make them visible only to members once we discuss Elementor integration with PM Pro plugin. Next, the most juicy section, other settings. In this section, you can find STM LMS settings which are responsible for setting course availability in your LMS. First, indicate the number of courses that can be enrolled using the subscription, then also indicate the number of featured courses included in this plan as well. It's optional, but you can indicate some tab name for this plan, so it will be displayed with the subscriptions which have the same tab name. For instance, you can create the tab called Engineering and include Civil Engineering, Biomedical Engineering, Aerospace Engineering, or Computer Engineering membership plans to it. There is also a private category section where you can specify courses category for the plan, so after purchasing the subscription, users will be able to enroll in several courses within the chosen category. Indicate the courses categories that are available in this plan. To select multiple categories, use the control in Windows or Command button in Mac devices. Besides this, there is a function that allows you to disable or enable one-time purchases on the courses in this category. When one-time payment is enabled for all courses from the selected categories, the courses will be available for everyone. Students can purchase the course separately or enroll using the membership level. This also can be done from the course builder. Open the needed course with course builder, then go to the price tab. Here you can disable one-time purchase as well and make the course available only for subscription plans. 
When one-time payment is disabled for all courses from the selected categories, the courses become members only and cannot be enrolled without membership level. All the courses that are available for subscriptions only will be marked as members only. It is possible to exclude certain courses from the membership level in the selected courses category. This is also can be done from the course builder. Open the needed course, then go to the price tab and enable not included in membership option. As a result, even if the course category is selected in the membership level, the course will not be included in the membership plan. We are done, so let's save and create it. Next thing that we need to do is to set up payment gateways and SSL. Payment gateways also should be set up separately for membership plans. Fill the needed information and set up convenient payment gateways for you to deal with membership plans. Good job! Now I want to add an element to my menu in the header about membership plans on my website. I can do it from pages. Let me add the membership levels page. As I said before, both PMP Pro and Master Study integrated with page builders like Elementor. First, from the widgets of the master study, I will search for membership plans and put it to the page. From the settings of the widget, you can change the appearance of the cards according to your needs. By the way, you can hide elements in your website from non-member users and make them visible to members only. To do it, go to Advanced Settings, then find Paid Memberships Pro tab. Add all membership levels to the required membership levels list. If you want to warn non-members that there is some content which is visible to only members, you can turn on Show No Access Message setting. Let's update the page and add it to the menu. Of course, adding it to the menu is completely optional, but I want to do it. From the WordPress dashboard, go to Appearance then Menus, find the page Membership Levels and add it to the menu. Now, let's check it as a student. Firstly, you can see membership levels in our header. These are the subscriptions we have. In my courses page, there are some courses labeled as members only. Or in this course, you can see I can get it using subscriptions as well. Now, let's go and get some level. Fill the form and purchase the subscription. Good job! Now I have a silver subscription and I can buy courses using it. Once I get some courses, I can see how many courses left in my plan. The details about the memberships can also be checked from the student's dashboard. I hope you will enjoy this feature. If you like it, put your thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more content. Thanks for watching.